We are live. Hello. Whether you are live or on the replay, welcome. So we're going to jump right into the updated arthropods units from UNIT, science unit from the Good and the Beautiful. We'll flip through the course book, then the student journals, and then we'll get into the book pack. The Let's see, these three are the book pack. This is the older kids reader, and then this was a bonus that they um, recommended to go with a unit. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll get these out of the way. If we haven't met yet, hi there. I'm Elaine from On the Same Page Together. We are a Christ-centered home of learning, and on this channel, we talk about all things family. We like to share what works for us as we strive to encourage you on your journey in life and family. So this unit has 10 lessons. There's the book pack. Other reader, and we'll get the lesson extensions are in the, the seven to eight journal. So we'll cover those in a minute. Supply list. If one of the things I noted on the website is that they said that this is one of the units that you need very little items for and very little prep time, which is pretty cool. So if there's something here that you do not have, check the activity in the lesson and make sure it's one that you are interested in doing or that your kids would be interested in doing before jumping into it. Vocabulary, I like to just put a little flag on the word that we're at and just add more and review as we go. Well, they even have vocabulary review activities in this one. That's interesting. And they tell you here to go to the lesson extension for the older ones. We like to do those family style. So, sorry, here's the keys for the activities. So anyways, we like to do the family style lesson extensions. So I get that book regardless and we go ahead and use them as part of our lesson. I'm not going to lie. This is not a unit I am excited for. I do not like bugs. I think only one of my kiddos has an interest in bugs, but I think that kiddo has a pretty dang good interest in bugs. So they will probably enjoy it. And if at any point you need me to go a little quicker or slow down, there's a little settings button in the right hand corner that you can use to adjust the speed on. Ooh, ooh. We got this right. We got this. We'll make it through. Oh my. Okay. There's the course book. Do you think your kiddo's going to love that? Let me know down in the comments if you have a kiddo that is just going to be thrilled for this unit. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Every lesson has something in this one. Vocabulary review. You know what? Let's try and see if we can do these side by side. Because one thing I like to look at is how similar or how different are these workbooks. Because if you are one that likes to do the lesson extensions with the family with younger kiddos, you might want to see if you can get just this one. So here's the vocabulary review. Oh, this is not what I thought. The vocabulary review is in the, this, not what I was thinking. I was thinking it's giving you an activity to go review the vocab. I mean, it is, but not in the way I was thinking. So here's a big difference in the two books, right? Here's the older one, and this is the younger. You've got, here's the three names, here's the three definitions, draw a line. Here, they want you to write the definition. So there shows how much of a level of expectation difference there is in the two workbooks. And then you have your lesson extension. Ooh, centipedes versus millipedes. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we'll kind of flip through. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we just should we just keep it side by side? Should we try it? We might as well give it a try, right? Here's these two are the same. Get an image and then circles, and then you get the lesson extension on beetles, and then we keep going here. We have, once again, the same, so maybe it's just that first page, and you might be able to just, you know, make something work for your younger kiddos if you want just this one, but we'll have to keep looking. 
Let me see what that is. Engineers of Light. So it's going to be fireflies. fireflies. This page is the same. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep flipping them back and forth, and you're not going to know which one's which. Older, younger. Yep. So then we got lesson extension, bees versus wasps. Let's see if we can flip these. Same page. And then the details of the butterfly wings. That one's going to be fun at least. And we got these pages are not easy to turn. Ant. The same thing. The wonders of an ant colony. Oh, I'm surprised. These are the same too. Exactly the same. Uh, modern medicinal uses for arthropods. Ooh, I don't think I want to know. Exactly the same. This looks promising, guys. Spider World Records. The same. And that's it left blank. Okay. Barnacles. We got this. That looks likely to be the same. Those two pages are the same. Oh, there's some differences here. So you have color in the icons that describe how the arthropod feels to touch. Same. And then this is your writing. What do you think your arthropod your arthropod eats? Where do you think your arthropod lives? Draw a picture. And this is just draw a picture. So I mean, you could ask them to narrate and you write in the answer and then let them draw a picture. It's not much different. Could totally work. Let's see. Life cycle of the field cricket. And that's it on that one. And that's it on that one. So these two are identical aside from that first lesson. And obviously the older ones has the lesson extensions. So if this is something you want to do with your younger kiddos and you're wondering, can you get away with just using this one? I think you totally can. You may need to like ask them about the definition. You may need to adjust this one for a younger one, but this is the only one you'd have to adjust. The rest of them are the same. So something to consider when figuring out which student journal you want to get. The book pack. So it comes with The Boy Who Loved Bugs, Maria, Mary, Marian, Marian, and Fiddler Crab. So let's just do a quick flip through of these. Forward, that's not the story, but is it forward? Yeah, forward. Purple buttons. And this is not a little book. This is kind of like a, a read aloud. That's kind of cool. I mean, children's picture books are also read alouds, but this, you know, this is a little more substantial. Not what I expected, but that's pretty cool. Okay. Here we've got what looks like she likes butterflies and moths. Those are moths. All bugs. She does not discriminate. So definitely focused. Oh. The way I like to fit these in is I do a read aloud before bedtime and I choose to do an educational book, a little bit in an educational book and then a little bit in a novel. So I will just whichever book we're reading to go along with the unit we're doing. Just read a little bit in that and then read a bit of our novel and that's how I fit it in. But however that works for you, maybe you're doing it while they're doing their student journal. Maybe you do it at breakfast time or at lunch. Or you just have a nice quiet time during your afternoon where you can gather your kiddos together to do a read aloud. Whatever works for you. In fact, if you have any ideas, I wouldn't mind them down in the comments so that we can have help each other out. That's all of those done. Okay. 
the insects and arachnids question and answers book. These are kind of fun to do. This is one where I would do one of the questions and answers, probably. Maybe I would do a spread. No, that's just kind of giving you a little bit about them. Typically, I do a spread at a time, and then we just kind of mull over that for the rest of the night. And the next night, we come back to the next one. Yee. You know what? I guess what I do hope from this unit is as much as I do not like it, I hope I can gain an understanding for the purposes and love and respect for these creepy crawlies that I do not like. Bee stings. Parasites. Oh. Oh, oh, I don't know that you want to see more, but we'll go back because this is an every page turn. That's how we do it. There we go. Okay, and now this one is not in necessarily the like page. It's not super obvious. I found it after putting these all in the cart. It's like, hey, would you like to add this book to your cart? I thought, sure, why not? Nature readers are cool especially for that particular kiddo that enjoys these little guys, maybe they will like reading it. So this one has stories specifically about a firefly, a garden spider, a honeybee, and a monarch butterfly. And they're like this little, they're like that first book that we talked about, or talked about, sorry, that first book that we flipped through. It seems to be this, just more of these. Similar illustration style and layout at least for the firefly one here's the next one the garden spider if you hear some noise in the background that's my a kiddo up above me running around on the next floor above they must have got done with their bedtime routine and got some free time before bed these. Yeah, that's very similar layout to that first one. So maybe if you would like to start with this one, see if you guys like that layout and feel before getting this, that's, that's an option. So they're very similar. And that is all of it. So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I love being able to answer questions. Um, I I'm so honored to be able to help you out on your journey in homeschooling. If you have any video requests, please drop them down there. And I'm about to hop on in a minute, a couple minutes to do the updated mammals unit. So I will see you over there. Bye.